So um, I'm here with Simon from Power Pass, and we want to talk you through a bit like um, the option what we as Kranich and what Power Plus has to offer for the Australian market. Uh, Simon, tell us a bit more, Power Plus, how does it work, how does it fit with the products we are selling? So we make a modular battery here in Australia, uh, nominally 48 volt, so we're compatible with 48 volt inverters, first thing then. The ones that we like from Kranich, of course, are the Sunny Island series, which are immensely scalable using their multi-cluster system, and also Selectronic, an amazing Australian brand that we actually live just around the corner from us in Melbourne, and we love supporting other Australian manufacturers. We make a series of cabinetry here. Uh, this one here is part of our Slimline series, and this one we can put six battery modules in. This is fully made in Australia. Here's six of our batteries representing a little under 24 kilowatt hours of storage. We so one battery this. is like how much? About 3.8 kilowatt 3 hours. 3.8 kilowatts. So you've got three per shelf. We pre-wire the battery side so the installer doesn't have to worry about it. They just load them onto the shelf, connect them in, and then from the installer's point of view, like you can see here, we've got a Selectronic inverter, uh, maybe a little switchboard, a thermostat to control the fan to allow cooling for the power electronics, and then maybe on the front, so the customer can see what's going on, we chuck our Select Live, so we get the extra warranty from Selectronic, and your customer has the best possible experience. Yeah, perfect. I mean, so it's really kind of a ready-to-go solution. Right? Exactly. We like to call it build your own best, for short, we call it BYOB, not the beer though. Leave that behind until a Friday afternoon. Tell me quickly, what is the minimum number of battery modules what you need to make it work? So we actually publish on our website all the instructions that installers need to know when in integrating a Selectronic or SMA inverter. So key to this is load tables. If an installer doesn't do a load assessment or they're getting a bit kind of pressured, you know, they've got to get yes, the yes, quotes yes. out quickly, you can go straight to our documentation or the wizard for Selectronic and it'll say this is the minimum number required. Typically with a 482, it's around four to six batteries depending okay. on the combination and what Gen 24 that you're going to be pairing yes, with yes, it. Okay, perfect. So, so the, the combination what we have here, how long would it take to install like those six batteries, the cabinet, etc., when, when a customer gets the goods? Mate, if you've got a real clever customer, what they'll do is they'll duck to your shop, they'll grab this stuff first, and they pull this mounting pan out in their own time, mount it all up, make the wiring look pretty, pull that, all the gear out, put it back into their box, take it to site, so when you're on site, you drill a couple of little holes here and there, run some cable glands, and you're on and off very quickly. Typically, we see these being installed in under a couple of hours if it's pre-set up ahead of time, or allow three to four hours if you have to do all the wiring on site. The upside is, of course, you've got this nice slimline white cabinet ready to go, sitting on the outside somewhere nice uh, with a full Australian-made battery inverter and cabinet solution. Perfect, perfect. Tell me one more thing. In Australia, remote conditions, hot conditions, high humidity does. So how do you address like those kind of topics for, for areas where it's really like um, typical Australian, hot, dusty, warm? You know, the coldest batteries we have running are in the snowy mountains uh, down in Victoria and the hottest are probably in north and central Australia. So we actually see our batteries not being the weak point in this. Okay. The weak point, believe it or not, is typically that circuit breaker and these circuit breakers here. So this guy here, he'll be running all the way through to 50 degrees before things start getting bad. Our batteries will continue running to 55 degrees before they start derating. So normally temperature is actually not a real problem mm -hmm. for us. We can say though, however, don't take our batteries for a swim. They don't like getting that wet. So we advise having home and contents insurance against disasters yes, yes, yes. like lightning and floods. Okay, okay. Um, what about warranty and cycles? Perfect. So our typical response to this is tell us what a cycle is because we don't know. <laughs> what we like to do instead is give you an energy throughput warranty. Okay. And we have this published on our website in the public domain. There's no special passwords to get to it. And it says for this battery here, if you cycle and leave 20% on a daily basis, I think uh, it's many, many megawatt hours of storage you'll get per battery module, which is great, right? Because you can say, electricity costs me this much per kilowatt hour. 
this is how many megawatt hours I'm guaranteed to have. And the best thing about this black battery here, this is part of our life or premium series, which means at the end of the warranty period, you still have a functional battery. You have 80% capacity remaining. That's awesome. That's all you need. So Australian made inverter, Australian made batteries for Australian conditions. I think that's really like the way to go. Power Plus and Cronage. I think that's awesome. Thank you so much. Pleasure, Better together. Mark. Thanks, Mark.